So uh, thanks for uh, having us here. Uh, my name is Xinzhi. I'm a fourth year PhD student working with Professor Steve Skinner at Stony Brook University. And Professor Skinner is also the director of the uh, Stony Brook AI Institute. And this presentation is about uh, how knowledge graph embedding changes during COVID as our world changes. And the main content is based on a recent paper published at KDD 2021, collaborating with Bao Jian uh, when he was post out here. So let's go next. So first thing first, what is the graph embedding or others may call it a network embedding or node embeddings. So basically it's a function that maps a node in the graph to a numerical vector, which we call it a, a embedding vector. So as the following uh, tall example shows, we could map every node uh, in this graph to this 2D space. So the embedding could capture the meaning of the node in the original graph by the fact that uh, the closer nodes in the graph may have similar vectors in the embedding space. So in this example, uh, you can see the nodes with the same color also get together uh, to each other on this 2D plane. And uh, most importantly, by this low dimension numerical embedding vector, uh, we could apply existing machine learning algorithms for many downstream tasks, for example, the node classification, uh, node clustering for the community discovery or the outlier uh, detection. And uh, however, this example is a static graph where uh, there's no new edge, no new node, everything is fixed. But in our real life, our world is always changing. So do the real world graphs and the nodes. Okay, Next. okay so let's take a look at the real world changing graph or we can call it a dynamic graph. So now uh, in Wikipedia link knowledge graph, each node is a wiki articles, usually describing uh, the real world entities. And each edge is the hyperlink connecting two articles, kind of like the citation uh, we do when we write in a paper. So this graph is, is large scale, have millions of nodes and hundreds of millions of edges, and it keeps scaling up as you can see in this little figure. And certainly some entities may change many and being captured by this dynamic knowledge graph. And I want to show one specific example of uh, the city of Wuhan, okay? So uh, before COVID, Wuhan is probably less famous to the people around the world. And at the end of uh, 2019 and early 2020, I think most people knew it as the first place of a COVID outbreak. And I think, so I think this is a good example of the changing or the, or the changed entity. So here the uh, figure shows a Wikipedia article of Wuhan and I highlight the hyperlinks it has. And the first two paragraphs are the geo or some historical events related to Wuhan. But in 2019, suddenly uh, we see many COVID related new links were created. So back to the graph embedding perspective, the question is how to uh, efficiently track those node embeddings in this dynamic massive graph so that we can detect the embedding movement of a node and compare it across time. So we can see how this changes, okay, next. So this question motivates us to design a new algorithm that can handle the problem uh, that we call a subset node embedding in dynamic large graphs. So using this algorithm, we can track the embeddings of several predefined nodes. So it's a subset of nodes instead of the uh, four nodes in the graph that we are interested in uh, as the graph keeps evolving. So the key idea is to use personalized page rank, uh, which is very successful algorithm used by Google search. And one advantage over other method is that uh, we could compute only what we need for the subset nodes of, uh, for the subset nodes. Well, most other algorithms have to compute all embeddings of every node across every time, but they finally use only part of them. So the rest of them are just wasted. So our algorithm is more efficient and faster. It's very suitable for this problem. But for more details, please refer uh, to our paper, which I'll just here. And as this example illustrates the concept, uh, our method can calculate the embeddings of a specific node in this case, uh, Wuhan across different year. And we can expect a huge embedding movement from 2019 to 2020. Okay, so next. So let's see the uh, experiment result. 
First, we collect the English Wikipedia graph snapshot every day in 2020. And as I mentioned before, it's a very large dynamic graph. We can see in this table, roughly uh, we got 30K new edges inserted every day. And we released the data in this GitHub repository. So it's very easy to access. And we keep track of Wuhan together with other hundreds of Chinese cities. And this figure shows uh, how the changes we detected in the embedding space. So as you can see, the curve of Wuhan is prominent. They have a huge peak. And we highlight several peaks with annotation and found that uh, they are all correlated, with, uh, correlated to the timeline of COVID. And there's another peak, and you can see uh, we spot one other peak in the city of Chengdu. Uh, which reflects the U.S.-China diplomatic tension when U.S. decided to close its consulate in Chengdu. So it has the uh, serendipity we discovered in this study. Okay, so oops. So uh, we have another experiment where we want to see the most changed cities in different time periods. So we rank the embedding movements of the tracked node at each time and found that uh, you can see this Wuhan usually uh, it's usually the top changed one among others as COVID uh, evolves. And we highlight the uh, news title in that uh, time period so we can uh, have an idea of what happened in that place. So, okay, so the major takeaways are uh, we have a very efficient node embedding algorithm that can capture the embeddings in very large dynamic graphs. Then we investigated the evolution of Wikipedia knowledge graph in 2020 and found the interesting node changes during COVID. And for more detail, please refer to our paper and uh, see the released resources. And yes, thank you. Thanks. <laughs>